Hey there, this is uh, Brian Downing from quantlabs.net. Uh, a few months ago, I was playing with a few uh, Forex trading platforms. Uh, I came across something kind of neat with MetaTrader. I'm not sure if this is something that's commonly known, but it's good for uh, active traders, uh, namely quants, researchers, or whatever. Um, but uh, if you're a bit of a cheap ass and don't want to pay for uh, pay for uh, streaming data, this is a good option for you. Uh, as I said a few months ago, I came across a few trading platforms. Uh, narrowed it down to three trading platforms, the big ones, which were uh, MetaTrader itself, uh, TradeStation, uh, as well as NinjaTrader. I found TradeStation to proprietary, so I moved on from that. Uh, NinjaTrader was okay. Um, the C-sharp uh, APIs and whatnot looked pretty good, but I found the particular version I was using was uh, pretty bug-ridden, so I kind of quickly gave up on that platform. So then I came across uh, MetaTrader. Uh, for those that are new to MetaTrader, I'm kind of new to it myself. Um, the one version that you do want to stick with is MetaTrader 4, uh, is which, which is what you're looking at right now, as well as MetaTrader 5 which isn't quite uh, in the mainstream yet, but uh, that version looks very exciting for C++ developers like myself, which they claim uh, will be uh, compatible with C++. So in MetaTrader itself, um, you have a variety of different uh, currency pair trading pairs that you can look at. Um, in this case right now, I've got US dollar uh, versus the Canadian dollar uh, pair uh, being looked at as of today November 10th 11th uh, as well as it does have the capabilities of watching um, uh, symbols as well like in, the, in this case Microsoft but uh, one of the things I did want to show you uh, is something that's very very powerful in MetaTrader and that is called expert advisors um, they're kinda like uh, custom uh, code uh, within MetaTrader that kind of extends the capabilities of MetaTrader as well as um, it does have its own proprietary language called MQL4 uh, and as I said for version 5 there's MQL5 which is totally different from version 4 uh, it brings in object oriented uh, it's quite some major changes and apparently 5 is not compatible with 4 so it's not backward compatible which uh, some users are saying it's the equivalent of uh, MetaTrader's uh, Windows Vista, but uh, if you're a traditional hardcore programmer, you might see the advantages with uh, 5 as it comes down to more mainstream with uh, some of the bigger uh, uh, trading brokers uh, support uh, Met MetaTrader 5 because only they support majority support 4, but that may have changed or may change fairly soon. I don't know. I don't live in MetaTrader, but I just wanted to show this to you uh, as this is a really cool feature in MetaTrader. So anyways, um, I do have a, um, a expert advisor called Write Data MQ4. I'll show you where I got this uh, expert advisor from. Um, what you're looking at right now is the uh, meta editor, which is the source code of this um, uh, expert advisor. Um, but one thing I want to show you is within the meta uh, within the uh, this ex expert advisor is that you have the ability to basically um, dump all your um, pairs or whatever you're looking at into text files. So, for instance, if I am to look at this trading pair of U.S. Uh, versus the Canadian dollar, um, I can dump these tick bars into a text file, a CSV, a comma separated uh, value file, um, and this is the expert uh, advisor that enables that. So right here um, in the MQL4, I'll let you um, decide when and how you'll uh, get into MQL4, the language, but it's very, very powerful. But in any case, um, I just commented out uh, one line here. Uh, and uh, it's only dumping the uh, close date of that tick, um, but uh, you do have the ability to, um, you know, your high, your low, your close, your open, your volume. You can dump all that into one text file. But as I said, I'm just tracking only the close price in this particular version of this right data. So, anyways, when I go back to my MQL, to my MetaTrader 4, 
um, in here under Navigator, you can find your um, expert advisors. But in here, when you dump your uh, MQL, uh, your MQ4 uh, file, which is your MQL4 program, which is essentially this, which uh, I just showed you, uh, this write data, um, write underscore data dot MQ4 uh, resides in a particular um, folder that you should be aware of, uh, which is basically um, in here the uh, MetaTrader experts indicators. And then as MetaTrader executes the expert advisor, it'll turn that file into a binary file, the EX dot, uh, dot EX4 file. So that's essentially what that is. Um, so let me show you um, where the files reside. Um, as I said, uh, if you go under your, um, right now I'm under the MetaTrader program, and if you go under the uh, experts, I believe, yeah, and then files, you'll find all the files that, um, as I was saying, that all those text files, which are CSVs, uh, which are generated from the um, expert advisors. So in my case, I had the uh, US Canadian um, file. So here we are. These are all the ticks of the most recent activity from MetaTrader as it's open. So what you can do from there is then you can have a third party progr program that you can uh, basically uh, access this file and then be able to um, uh, operate off it, which is kind of cool. I just want to show you that uh, and hopefully that's a brief rundown how the MetaTrader uh, with this particular expert advisor works. So let me show you the source files. Um, all right, so we have uh, one uh, article here from mql4.com, interaction between MetaTrader and, and MATLAB, which is very powerful. It gives you a plot and it interacts with that file uh, as well as uh, there's another one where you can do your exporting of the file. Um, and essentially, the particular write underscore uh, data file that I was using what can be found in this particular uh, article here in the MQL4. If you go under the uh, YouTube description, uh, you'll find the source to all the to my link on my site at quantlabs.net, and then from there I'll give you the further links of these uh, um, articles that will help you um, expand what I'm just showing you. So. These are some really cool uh, articles that you might be um, interested in. There's three, and uh, hopefully they'll help you out.